Okay, so without having done graphs at all so far, you will already be able to understand this typical question. Okay, um, from the position versus time graph below, find the average velocity from time 0 to time 16. Okay, so again, they ask us to find average velocity. First thing, best thing to do once you know exactly um, what they're asking is to start off with your formula. Average velocity is change in x over change in time. Next is our stock taking. In other words, what is the value change in x? Well, we know that change in x must be x at time 2 minus x at time 1. Okay, so we need to go and read that off. Time 2 is this second time, okay, and that's at 16 seconds. So let's go find 16 seconds on this axis. So here you can see, here's the, the time axis. There they tell us it's time, okay, and on this time seconds we need 16, and there we go. There's 16. After 16 seconds, I am right here on the horizontal. Let me make this bigger. Maybe we can see the whole thing. There we go. At 16 seconds, I'm actually at zero. So, I can put here zero meters, okay, minus, that is, or actually let's, let's write it like this, x at time 16. Again, this is not x times 16, this is um, function substitution, okay, minus x at time 0. Now, x at time 16 is equal to 0, we just saw that. So that's equal to zero minus what is x at time zero? It's also zero. Okay, so zero minus zero means my displacement is zero. Huh. Now it doesn't really matter what time is, but for the sake of this question, we'll still do that. The change in time is 16 minus zero because time two minus time one is 16 minus 0 is equal to 16. So if I now just go and substitute in my sub step, I find that my velocity, average velocity, is 0 over 16, and that when I solve it will just give me 0 meters per second in the direction um, of motion. Okay, in this case, in the direction of motion, here yeah, there's uh, it's zero, so it doesn't really matter what direction you choose. But I'll put that anyway, just to practice it in, in the direction of motion. Cool, let's go input our answers. Okay, so here we go. If we have to go input the answers, the formula, we're still using that formula. Okay, we went to work out the displacement. Okay, the displacement was zero of the time was 16 seconds. So when we go substitute to find the average velocity we had 0 divided by 16 always preview just to make sure and that gave us that V is equal to 0 meters per second negative 1. Cool. Okay I'm happy hope you are too.